welcome back to our grammar lesson today we are going to learn about two important parts of sentences that is subjects and predicates so when we make a sentence it has got two main actors the main character known as subject and the action that character performs called the predicate so clear so far the subject is like the main character it is who or what the sentence is talking about next up the predicate it is the action part of the sentence it is what the subject is doing let's take an example so what the example says the boy plays football first let understand the subject the subject is like the main character as we already discussed it is who or what the sentence is talking about so in this example the boy plays football who or what are we talking about that's right the boy so why is our subject next up the predicate it is the action part of the sentence so in the example what is the action right plays football so play football is our predicate let's put it all together every sentence has a subject who or what and a predicate the action sometimes the subject shows up after the action for example in this sentence there goes the bus here comes the train so in these examples uh, the subject the bus and the train comes after the action goes and comes so similarly in question like is it raining are you coming the subject it and you follows the verb so sometimes the subject doesn't lead the sentence but still plays a crucial role in conveying the message right next is imperative sentences often don't have a subject at all let's not forget about imperative sentences these are commands or requests like stop listen run Interestingly, imperative sentences often don't have a subject at all. Instead, they jump straight to the action or command, making them unique in sentence structure. In these examples, it is understood that the speaker is commanding the person they are talking to to stop. Similarly, in listen, the subject is the person being told to listen. So while the subject isn't stated here it is still understood within the context of the command now practice some exercise questions identify the subject and predicate you will find the answer in the description box Thank you, thank you for joining with us.